Is this thing on? Are we live? Hello everybody. Now today I want to talk about 5G, specifically 5G in your home is something I've always been interested in, getting rid of my home like broadband from that I currently use as Virgin Media. Uh, I want to get rid of that. I want to actually have see what 5G is like uh, in the house. So I've been doing a bit of research. Anytime I've seen 5G come up my phone, I've been doing some speed tests and I think the results might surprise you. Now, just to give you an idea of how much money we're talking about every month if we actually signed up for 5G home broadband, um, this is what we've got in the UK. This is from three, and uh, we're talking about £29 a month. And that's a 24-month plan. Or for the £34 a month, it's a 12-month plan. But there are actually better deals than that. We're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video because right now I want to talk about what kind of speeds that you can expect from 5G, at least in my area. Before we go on to that, I actually want to know what kind of speeds are you getting if you have live in a 5G area? So if you've got a 5G phone, I've got an iPhone 12, uh, anytime 5G comes up in your phone, take a little speed test and let me know what kind of speeds you're getting in your area. It's something that I always do. And this is what I want to talk about now is the speeds that I was getting. Now, let's see my findings. So originally, this is in the Glasgow city centre. I started getting speeds around about 105 download and upload of three. That's I'm not really sure about the upload, whether that's real right or not, because I've got much better results than that later. Now, if I was wanting to combat my home broadband, I currently get half a gig. Now, there is a gig available uh, from Virgin, but at the moment, it's not in my area. So I would need it to combat that. It would need to be the 400s, the 500s. And I did actually get findings of those kind of speeds, if not better. So they start getting a little bit more impressive. Now, this is 134. We've got a ping of 63 there. All these results here, there's 238. Now, this is the 855. This is peak time. Peak time is 238, 240 download and a 30 upload. I'm getting, I, for my 500 gig, half a gig, I get 40 upload. Um, so it's interesting to see the upload speed as well. And again, these kind of speeds are roughly around about the same up towards the 300. Again, that's at half past nine in the morning, as you can see here. They are great. Don't get me wrong, they are absolutely fantastic, but I would want a little bit more than that if I was wanting to go over to the 5G. Now, this is where it gets really, really interesting. In fact, I was blown away by some of the results that I got. If we go into here, we get 461. That's very interesting. But then we get 592. Okay, I just want to jump in here just for a second because I think we're getting a little bit confused. The results prior to the 592 were taken in Glasgow city centre. The results after this were actually taken from Crookston station, train station, which is actually more towards Paisley, which is very, very close to Glasgow, but it is a different area. I just wanted to point out that the reason why the speeds were different is because it was two separate areas. 592 with an upload of 12. Again, the, I've noticed that the upload can kind of come and go. That wasn't the best speeds I was getting, though. 706 at half past 10 in the morning. Upload, again, very questionable. So I don't know if that was a right, if that was a proper speed test I took. I was generally, whenever I took these kind of speed tests, I was on a train and I literally saw it. And so when it stopped at a station, I knew that we were in a 5G area. I would take a quick, a quick test. So that might be the upload might be a little bit, uh, well, they might just be a little bit inconsist inconsistent because of that. But again, ping of 44 there. This is where it gets really interesting. 952 download speed and an upload of a, almost 85, ping of 24. That is just phenomenal, but it wasn't the best one. Over a gig, over a gig for 5G. That is just crazy. A gig's worth. And if you can get that for £30 a month, 
oh, I'll tell you, this is why I really want to, I, I'm why I'm really, really interested. I'm trying to save money. Uh, at the moment, my, I hate spending money on broadband. It's £56 a month for just from a broadband from Virgin at the moment. Uh, how much are you paying? Let me know in the comments section. How much are you paying for your broadband and what speed you are getting? Because I know the, the prices in the States can be, well, quite ridiculous, I've heard, in some parts of the States. Now, that's a pretty good deal, yeah? But at the moment, for three, I'm not affiliated with this in any way, shape or form, but I'm just curious. You can actually get a little add-on. You only can get these when you take out a phone package. Uh, they usually kind of give you some free stuff along with it. Well, if you take out a Chromebook worth £379, it costs you £30 a month over two years. Now, that's over two years instead of the 12 months. So if 12 months... Uh, if the two years kind of frightens you a little bit then this probably wouldn't be for you but that's over 24 months you do get a 14 day money back guarantee so what I would suggest if you were going to try it is literally try it out for a couple of weeks uh, but keep your original broadband as well and see how well it performs that's what I would do but it's not only that if you want to take a Nest Audio with it as well it's only £33 a month which is crazy £33 a month I just can't get my head around that. If you look at the full full plan details, it doesn't give you much more information. You have got a personal hotspot with that. Uh, it's unlimited. Uh, I don't believe there's no caps. That, I mean, they won't slow you down. That's the sort of thing, that's the kind of testing that I'd want to do. I mean, it has got phone calls. I'd, I imagine you can just use phone calls along with it. Uh, I certainly wouldn't be using uh, those prices right enough. So it just shows you what you can get. Uh, I mean, if you just take the Nest Audio along with it, it's £34 a month, and that's for 12 months. Pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. In fact, I think it's unbelievable. So what do you make of that? Do you think, has anyone got any experience? Is anybody watching this actually using a, a 5G home router in uh, a router in their house right now? And what kind of speeds are you getting? And are they consistent? Are they as good as your home Wi-Fi? That's what I really want to find out because I would rather have one plan that does my phone and my broadband that is not linked to your, phone, your house. So if you have... I was about to say if you have an elect, uh, if, if you have power outage, you'd still be able to get uh, internet. But I guess if you've got a power outage, you can't use it on anything other than your phone anyway. And you've got your your five G plan there, or your four G plan anyway. So that was a kind of silly thing to say. But there we go. It just shows you this is totally unscripted. So I'm really interested to know if you've got 5G, if you're an existing 5G uh, customer right now, what kind of speeds are you getting? And is it reliable? Would you recommend it? Let me know in the comments, please. And also where you are in the world, I'd love to know. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Um, if you liked it, if it was helpful, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos. You never know, you might... Uh, like it. I'm talking rubbish now. I'm going to sign off. Bye-bye. <laughs>